Well, welcome to the Jolly Roger Tap Room. This is one of the main reasons why we moved to allow us to grow and expand our menu, give us a chance to be a true restaurant in our old location, very small, compact, nothing but complaints about being too small, too crowded. Now we get complaints about being too noisy. So you can never make anybody happy. The whole goal is to make sure that we have a chance to showcase what we do. Our chef has been with me for over 12 years. He has showcased, he has worked in various locations from the Warwick all the way Space Needle, Daniel's Broiler. He has significant amount of education and talent to again give him a 1800 square foot kitchen. All right, giving us a chance to come up with different recipes, different formats, even with the different beers that we have on. We have come up with different flavor profiles. But again, Jolly Roger being our namesake, the main beer that we try to have on up to, oh, at least seven months out of the year is Jolly Roger, hence the Jolly Roger Tap Room. Because that is the beer, as far as I'm concerned, that will keel haul you after three. Because we were making Jolly Roger a piratical theme, a pirate theme, would be the most fun, the most entertaining, the most visual, the most creative way of showcasing what we do in the brewing business. The floor was done by Doug Keith, a good friend of mine. It's a hand-painted floor showcasing a fictitious map, following it to Skull Island or Jolly Roger Island over in the corner. The, the schoolhouse lamps depicts the old school, the old way of way Ballard used to be like. The bar being an old oak bar would simulate the old oak ribs of a ship, but not necessarily being a ship, but the type of bar that you would go in in the old days. Being a really a, a nautical but not so kitschy kind of way of doing it, I didn't want to be the sea galley of Ballard. All right, I wanted to be a place where showcase the beers that we have. If you notice that we have 13 different taps, that represents 13 years. Okay, also represents the 13th brewery registered in. Washington with the Washington State Liquor Control Board to manufacture and distribute beer. So that's why we have 13 tap handles. We also carry cask engine on draft and we also do casks on the bar on a periodic basis. We have what we've referred to and we came up with little jollies at the very beginning. Nobody was doing sliders at the time. Now everybody's got sliders. It's no longer unique but we still have them. It's what people love. It's what people thrive on. We have fried pickles. Or wasn't anybody doing fried pickles? We also came up with a unique flavor profile for onion rings. We actually applewood hop smoked onions. You know, prior to deep, deep batter, to, before battering them and deep frying them and giving you a, a smoked jalapeno tartar sauce a roast jalapeno tartar sauce to go along with it. All of the sauces are fresh made. When we moved over here, I wanted to again make sure that people understood that when we moved over here, we still did it fresh. We only have, we wanted everything to be as fresh as what our beer represents. So, in freshness is imperative. I built a 320 square foot cooler for all the produce, all the materials that Dave, our chef, needs to be stored in there. We only have one three-door freezer. That's it. Everything else is fresh. Everything comes in fresh. Local purveyors supply us with what we need in order to give people that fresh taste. And all the sauces are done in-house. And our menu changes every six weeks to give the, the customers a total unique experience by letting them taste different things that the chef comes up with. 